Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a really quick Redshift tip for you today. But before I jump in, uh, first off, this model's free in our collection if you wanna get some freebies. We have 400 different free models you can download. Head over to the Pixel Lab to grab it. And also the texture used on this is from our ultimate procedural material library for Redshift. And we're up to 1,250 textures in that kit. And this texture is from our organic section, which has all these really gross, slimy, nasty textures. All right, so with that out of the way, let's jump into our Redshift camera and under the optical tab, let's turn on Boca and let's take our aperture down to something like 0.5. And we can pick focus here by using this uh, pick focus here and we'll click to focus. And you can see that we can grab focus on the back or the front, but sometimes it's really nice to visualize exactly where that focus is. And you can't really do that with the picker and sometimes it has a hard time getting exactly where you want it. So in your camera, if you go to this display tab, in your display tab, there is a section called frustum. Now, frustum is a very strange word. Frustum is the portion of a solid that lies between two pairs, blah, blah, who cares? So under frustum, which is a great word, there is a focus plane. If we turn that on, you'll see that in our uh, viewport here, we have a display plane. You can change the opacity to whatever you want, but this is exactly where we're focusing, which is really great. So if we go back to our optical, and you go to your focus distance and you just click and drag through that, you can visualize now exactly what's in focus. It's just such a great visual way to uh, grab focus on exactly the point that you want. So if we want it right in the front here, we can drag it till it's right on this spot right here. So I find myself using this all the time, super handy little feature. So back under that display tab, if we turn off that focus plane, we also have this composition twirl down and we can turn on overlays. So we can add our rule of thirds here. And this is a really nice way if you're kind of setting up your composition, you wanna have your rule of thirds. We also have uh, some things like our golden spiral if you want to take some inspiration from nature and make things really hip to the natures. Uh, we have crosshair as well if you wanna know exactly what's in the middle of your scene. So these overlays are very handy as well as this focus plane. So I find myself using this display tab quite a bit, but a lot of people don't know it's there. So that's a quick overview of it. I hope you guys found this useful. Make sure to grab this free 3D model and also check out this material pack if you're interested. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.